I look at it as, you know, it doesn't really matter how young you are. You know, people and people I know and friends I know, and I've gone through some of these things myself. You know, you lose people you love. Um, you can really relate to it as any, like any way you want to, whether it's your friend or, you know, your boyfriend or even like family. So I definitely saw it like that. And, you know, working with these amazing writers that can just put themselves in, you know, other people's shoes and just write stuff that you can really relate to. There's simply no one else in the world I could ever find, you know. That, and that was No One Else, written by Pink, um, Cara Dio Guardian, uh, Greg Wells. And I love that song so much, and it has to be like one of my favorites on the album, only because I can really dedicate that to my, to my parents. Aww. So, and, and I, you know, I'm definitely like, that, that song's for you guys. Your mom's adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much. Because, you know, if it weren't for them, I pretty much wouldn't be here. Um, they've just, they've supported me so much. And Have you been watching uh, this season? A little bit. Not so much. <laughs> it, it has gotten a lot of criticism for, you know, the way it's going and yeah. the contestants. And, and they're saying that it's not as good as the previous one. Probably because well, of stuff. You know, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but no, <laughs> I, I, I'm really just, I, I met some of them. I'm actually, I've met all of them. They're super nice. Um, Do you have a favorite? <laughs> it's really, it's really, it's tough now between the girls. I'm, re I'm rooting for the girls. I'm sorry, guys. I'm rooting for the girls, and it's tough. Um, I'm, I'm a Crystal fan. I'm a Siobhan fan. You know, Crystal's just really different. So I really hope a girl takes it. Come on, girls, yeah. can't be two guys in, you know, two years in a row. No, thank you. Yeah. No, <laughs> come on, we need a girl. They suffer from comparison from the whole Cradison magic, yeah, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we suffered, and that's pretty much, you know, every season, you know. We get, we get the comparisons because it's a new season of American Idol. People are still, like, on the last season, so, you know, it's tough. But people then still go to the tours and find who they're, like, really crazy about, so... So much fun. Um, you know, you, 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 you just create this bond with um, the people like backstage that work there. And so I remember when they told me I was going back, I was like, I'm going to see these people again. These people I haven't seen in so long. And um, it's like a family, you know. And Were so, you nervous? So nervous. <laughs> when I first got there, I was like, oh, gosh, you know. Um, I, I, I feel like I'm about to get eliminated. I had those same nerves. I was on stage and I was like, are they going to judge me and tell me how much I sucked? Or, you know, it was just those same feelings. But then again, I was like, wow, I'm here now, you know, doing my own thing, singing Scars, you know, singing a song off of my album in front of these guys. It was crazy. And so just them asking me for advice was so weird, but felt so good, because I was like, man, you know, I know what you're going through, but you know, you're gonna get through it, it's crazy, it's scary, but it, it just felt so good to be back there. What did they ask you? Who specifically asked you um, well, for advice? I mean, a, a couple of them just, they were like, how did you get through this? You know, like, it's so stressful. Um, just, like, how are you doing now, you know, after Idol, yeah. even about the tour. They're so excited for the tour, and I just kept telling them that, it, you know, really it's crazy. really crazy. <laughs> At first, you're like, oh, gosh, I'm so excited, like, the first, you know, couple of weeks. Then towards the middle, you're like, God, I want to go home, and I hate this. It sucks, Because, you know, you get so yeah. tired, and then... Yeah, I remember like the last few weeks when it's like close to like the end of tour, you're like, I don't want this to ever end, oh gosh. Because again, you get so close to these people, especially, you know, like our season, we got along so yeah. well, like all 10 of us and just everyone was, you know, we just miss them. And so it was a bit tough. Yeah. So I told them that and they're like, man. Mm -hmm. Star now, do you still get starstruck? I remember seeing your picture with Elton John and that was so I, cool. I mean, I was like, Hey, it's touching my shoulder. It was, I, I still do. I, I you know, I, I look up to these people so much. And still, like, even, I remember when I met Kelly, mm -hmm. Carrie, and even David Cook. I was like, oh, God, you know, I, I got crazy, and I still do. You know, getting, even getting to work with, like, these people, Cindy Lauper and Slash, Jamie Foxx. Yes, I still get starstruck. <laughs> I'm like, ah! so funny <laughs> they, we, it, like we tweet each other or something and they're like oh, oh my god they're a couple now you know <laughs> it's a lot of that like they're a couple now because they're tweeting each other no but you know Do you have a boyfriend? It's a, no i don't I'm, no time? I'm good if if it happens it happens if not it you know i'm i'm good 
I'm happy with that so one. Your, your mom would be happy to hear that. My mom would be very <laughs> happy to hear that, actually, yes. So um, which uh, TV show would you like your songs to be in? Have you envisioned hmm. your song play? Yikes. Like, it was, that was cr that's a crazy question, because um, I remember when they told me that Pieces, one of my songs on the album, was on Idol, one of the first weeks like where um, people would make it through the yeah. like Hollywood week round. And I heard my song, I was like, whoa, that's so that's so crazy, that's cool, you know? I'm glad it's not like, I'm going home, you know, it's a positive <laughs> song. <laughs> I love you, Daughtry. But yeah, um, hey, it would it'd be cool to have, you know, people from Glee covering my song, make it into all, I don't know, musical-ish. I would be down, yourself? I would definitely be down. Why not? <laughs> crazy, because I know, I know how much people love Glee, so yeah. to get on that show would be awesome. You You'd know? be doing some dancing too. I would be definitely, Trying to do some dance and track. <laughs> yeah. A very um, confident uh, young woman. Well, your experience in doing your album was it difficult um, asserting yourself? You know, how much creative control did you have? I, I had a lot of um, control over it, and I was, you know, definitely grateful for that. Um, I remember they would just send me songs uh, that you know they thought suited me and I definitely you know chose the ones that I could really relate to and so um, just recorded a bunch knocked them out of the park uh, and then when it came down to it we just narrowed down the ones that I liked or you know the record company and we just all sat down and it was, it was like great. when recording the songs um, I remember you know getting some songs that weren't really I guess for me and I was like I don't know how I like the, you know the arrangement of the song is maybe we could change it up a bit and they did and it was great and it was awesome and I was happy with it and now it's like one of my favorite songs on the album so it's it's, it's awesome it's great. You come off as, on, on Twitter as you know very very funny <laughs> <laughs> or gross <laughs> yeah. On the flip side of that what makes you cry? What makes you emotional? Um, you know, the real stuff. Uh, I, I cry during those sad movies where, you know, the guy leaves the girl or cheats. You know, I'm, I'm still very, I'm very emotional. I'm a crybaby when it comes to stuff like that. Armageddon got me crying, that movie Armageddon. Really? That's, and I will, that's like when it comes to emotional, like, you know, questions, I always think of, of an Armageddon because I sob. <laughs> what songs do you listen to when you're in that? You know, oh, when I'm like in that sad cold play, cold play, and uh, that's, that's there's Chris's answer too. Yeah, because <laughs> they're so oh yeah, god emotional too. and their lyrics just you can just straight up relate to like yeah. any little thing. Um, I know the Scientist by yeah, Coldplay. Also opening for Adam, I heard. I am opening for Adam and Orianthe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so excited. Are you going to do a duet? Like? Probably not, you know, because he's going to be doing his own thing. You know, now it's it's his his music, or maybe we don't know. You should. You have it would be fun, and you know, Adam and Adam wouldn't mind, and I definitely wouldn't mind. We have so much fun.